see. Hi there. Well, if you remember a while ago, we took off the sheetrock and exposed this beautiful pine flooring that they put under the wall. So we're going to carefully remove this so we can reuse it in the new house. So we're going to actually work down here at the bottom because there are tiny little pieces here. So if we break these pieces, we don't care, we can't reuse them. But we need to break some so we can start working up the wall to salvage the wood. So here goes. Like I said, you may have to break some to get the first pieces out. Oh, I see where the nail is. Okay. That's your first piece. These are really big nails. I was pulling these out of floorboards upstairs yesterday. These nails are brutal. Okay, here's why we start with a sample piece. We started with the bottom with these small little pieces we know we can't reuse anyway. Um, because when I actually popped off these little pieces, I discovered that they they put them in with the nail on an angle, shooting the nail downward. So it's it's actually destroying the uh, groove part of the tongue and groove. So we're going to have to backtrack and start at the top of the wall and work our way down from there if we really want to salvage this through use against flooring. All right, well, we loosened up this top floorboard on this side of the wall, so I think this is the way to go. So far, we haven't broken anything. So let's see. If this works, we'll continue all the way down the wall removing these floorboards. Yeah, look, that was success. Nothing broken here. Here's our groove. And this side's the tongue. You know, before I was breaking these, but taking, working from the top down, taking it all off this way, we should be fine and we should have some nice, clean, beautiful floorboards to use elsewhere in the new house. Now, normally when I've been removing the boards, like all the bead boards from the ceiling in the other rooms, I've just been using a pry bar and going in and, and loosening it up. Um, in this case, it's much thicker and it's nailed in with much, much, much bigger, deeper nails. And what's happening is this wood is so old, it's brittle that it's cracking. We're breaking the groove on our tongue and grooves. So it's going to be hard to reuse it. So what we're going to have to do, and it's a little painstaking, it's going to take a lot longer but we're going to have to be even more ginger with this wood. And what I'm finding is I'm going, to ha I'm going in and actually having to try to pop each nail separately. And then, take, once I loosen it, I can take the pry bar and yank it off. So that's what we're going to have to do to try to save this wood. <laughs> 